Thanks to Taurus for sponsoring this video. Apple is going to cancel the iPhone and replace it with this. Wait a second. I know this sounds crazy. Trust me, I've read your comments before, but let me tell you the truth. Apple doesn't care what you think. The clock is already ticking and the iPhone won't be around much longer, but not before it changes in some major ways that some of you will love and some of you will absolutely hate. Apple's 2023 master plan just leaked. So let me tell you about the big news that we're expecting next year, why you should care, how the iPhone is going to get a massive upgrade and downgrade, and also why everything is about to change. 2023 might just be the year, hate to say it, that Android wins. Now, before you start commenting down below, let me answer this question right off the bat. Is Apple going to cancel the iPhone in 2023? No. Of course not. The 14 Pro is selling really well, Apple's got big plans for the iPhone 15, and the iPhone still makes Apple a whole lot of money, billions and billions of dollars every single year. So what's with the title of this video? Well, as popular as the iPhone is, and as great of a phone as it might be, the gravy train and its heyday, so to speak, are sort of coming to an end. Everyone who wants an iPhone basically for the most part has an iPhone around the world, which means its growth is really slowing down. Now, don't get me wrong, Apple is still making a ton of money from the iPhone, even you know this year in 2022, but they know that revenue and growth potential more specifically are not going to last forever, which means they need to get ready for something new, something better than the iPhone, a whole new product that is going to entice billions of people around the world that they needed to buy one immediately. And I know this sort of sounds crazy, but it does actually make sense. The iPhone, as unbeatable as it seems right now, now, isn't going to be Apple's crown jewel forever. I mean, just look 20 years ago, if you had told your 20 year old younger self that the iPod wouldn't be around in a number of years, they would have told you you were absolutely crazy. The iPod was the sensation of the world. But now we can sort of see why Apple sort of chose to get rid of that line because the iPhone was just infinitely better in almost every single way. Sort of the same situation we're in right now applies to that iPod story. The iPhone seems great, it seems advanced, it seems special, but Apple's got something even better coming along that's gonna be basically way better than the iPhone in every single way. And we've already got a ton of details on this product. We know what it's gonna be called, how it's gonna work, even how much it's going to cost, and we know that it's coming in just a matter of weeks. But before we get to sort of the uh, downfall and the death of the iPhone, let me tell you some of the big changes that Apple has in store to save its popularity and make it totally destroy its Android competition. One of the big overhauls the iPhone is gonna receive in just a couple of months is with the iPhone 15 lineup. This is getting an all new design, some major camera upgrades, some new new colors, some new special features. Basically, it's set to be, according to rumors, one of the biggest iPhone upgrades we have seen in like five to six years. And in a lot of ways, the 15 line is sort of set to fix a lot of the iPhone 14 shortcomings. It's gonna pack more features on those non-pro iPhones to make them even better. It's gonna have the dynamic island on every single model, while the pro phones will continue to be more enticing than ever with more exclusive features like promotion, the always on display, a better camera system, better CPU, all that stuff that the enthusiasts really care about and are willing to shout hundreds of dollars more to have on their phones. And in a move to really compete with the Android competition and make the iPhone Pro series even better and even more pro and get people to spend the money to go with the Pro phones, Apple is set to also introduce a brand new iPhone 15 Pro model that we have not seen before, dubbed the iPhone 15 Ultra. This is set to basically replace the Pro Max version. So it's gonna have the biggest display, the biggest battery. It's gonna have some exclusive features that you probably can't get on the 15 Pro, like the periscope telephoto lens only on this model. And if you want the biggest, baddest, most expensive iPhone 15 you can buy, the 15 Ultra is gonna be the way to go and maybe has some sort of ultra exclusive features on it as well, sort of like the Apple Watch Ultra does over the regular Series 8. 
Okay, now before we continue with what's coming next with the iPhone 15, let's take a quick break and talk about the iPhone 14 or the current iPhone you've got in your pocket right now. If you are on the hunt for a case uh, and you're looking for one that is super sleek, super simple, one that's nice uh, to hold in your hand and also one that's going to protect your phone if it has an accidental drop like that one right there, then now look no further than one of the amazing cases offered by this video sponsor, Taurus. And personally, one of my favorite cases in the Taurus lineup is this one right here on my phone. It is the Guardian case. It is super sleek, super lightweight, super premium. I sort of love the 30% translucent design, so the phone color of your iPhone sort of just peeking through there. Taurus also has a bunch of other wonderful options here. Like if you're a fan of a clear case, you're gonna love their diamond clear case. It offers military grade protection here as well, while also packing industry leading anti-yellowing too. And there's also the UPro line that packs a super convenient hands-free kickstand right into the design of the case. And it comes in either a magnetic kickstand option or their O stand option as well. And particularly, I love how much functionality is built into this O stand case. This thing is amazing. It allows you to sort of free up your hands and sort of be able to have your phone stand up anywhere that you are. I love that it has full MagSafe compatibility. It's got super strong magnets so you can attach this to an iron location. Maybe if you're at the gym trying to follow a workout or you're trying to follow a cooking recipe in the kitchen. And also I love that this built-in stand means it's sort of like a tripod anywhere you go. So if you feel like busting out your dance moves or your lack of dance moves in this case, you can do it really easily anywhere with this O stand case on your iPhone. These are the perfect pairing for your iPhone. I love them and I know you guys are gonna love them as well. So if you wanna learn more for yourself today, check out all the uh, cases that Taurus has to offer and pair one with your iPhone like right now. Click the link right down below in the description to learn more and pick up a Taurus case for your iPhone today. But in addition to some good news, we've also heard some bad news and uh, some controversial changes that Apple also has in store for the iPhone 15 and beyond. One good piece of news is that the iPhone 15 should be switching to USB-C. That'll be great to see on every single model. But Apple is going to restrict the USB-C speeds on their non-pro phones, shocking I know, and also, remove the buttons sort of on the 15 Pro models, giving you solid state buttons that feel and emulate a regular click while the phone is on, but when the phone is off, you can press it and nothing is going to move, basically giving you fake buttons on the 15 Pro. And we have heard time and time again that Apple's ultimate goal with the iPhone is to make like a portless, buttonless iPhone. Beyond that, we also know that Apple is working and testing some new designs for the iPhone that would make it more unique and more competitive with the flips and folds of the Android world. We know that Apple is working on a folding iPhone in a couple of different iterations. Some say that Apple could make something more like a Z Flip where it would sort of go from a smaller iPhone into a larger one. You'd have a larger screen on the inside. And some rumors say that Apple might do an iPhone iPhone Fold, sort of like the Z Fold, or even something like the Microsoft Surface, where you sort of have two screens that open up like a book. I know a lot of you guys are very against the sort of folding phone craze. You either love it or hate it on the Android side. We know that Apple is working and testing this, not just on the iPhone, but also on the iPad as well. And as the iPhone sort of evolves in the next few years, and if folding phones continue to gain in popularity, in order to compete, Apple just might have to make their phones fold and do some sort of form factor change. We've had basically a rectangular slab of glass basically since 2007. Some major form factor change is needed to stay competitive, and according to rumors, it might just be a fold. But in all reality, none of this might even matter because starting in just a couple of weeks in 2023, Apple is going to begin their two-step plan to eventually eliminate the iPhone and move on to something bigger, something better, something brighter, and something even more crazy than the iPhone. Step one of that plan starts with this. This is Apple's mixed reality AR VR headset, either dubbed Apple Reality or Apple Reality Pro. It's running Reality OS, ROS, XOS. Honestly, you've probably seen rumors and headlines and videos on this over and over again. And a lot of you guys are probably asking why? What's the point? I don't want this headset. This headset looks crazy. Why is everybody making such a big deal over this weird looking headset that straps onto your head? Well, the reason this is so important is that according to people sort of inside of Apple working on this project, this is set to be technology's next big thing. Like the iPod changed music and how the iPhone changed phones, even how the iMac changed computers and the Apple Watch changed wearables, this is going to be Apple's next big thing. 
According to rumors, we might be getting a special event as early as January of 2023, where Apple will finally show off this headset and show us exactly what this does. From specs and stuff, we know it's gonna have some cutting edge Apple Silicon, it's gonna have a lot of sensors and cameras and micro OLED displays. But the reason this is such a big deal is that it's supposed to take everything your iPhone or your iPad or your Mac could do and just do it in a whole new, more immersive way. So you can play games, you can talk with friends, watch movies, send messages, browse the web, watch YouTube videos in a new and more exciting and immersive way than you could ever do just by sort of holding your phone. But a headset, again, is sort of weird. Who wants to walk around their house or even go out into public with this huge sort of headset contraption on your face? Well, that is where step two comes in because according to, again, those uh, sort of in the rumor cycle and those in the know, Apple's first step to eliminate the iPhone is to release this headset, to get it out there, to get people checking it out, to get people using it, and to get people wanting it and buying it. But it's gonna be expensive and bulky and probably a first-gen device. But then, a couple of years later, Apple is going to shift that technology into glasses, whether they call it Apple Glass, Apple Smart Glasses, whatever it is, basically they're gonna take that package of the headset, build it into glasses that are sleek, simple, easy to wear and easy to use, so you basically have the power of your iPhone wherever you go all the time, built right into here, and one that you can basically always see without having to look down or take this out of your pocket and do this sort of thing. And it could sort of be a win-win for everybody. We get this new device that we love and we get to interact with friends in a whole new way and interact with our lives and our tech in a whole new way. It could be groundbreaking, revolutionary, Apple's magic buzzwords and be really, really cool. And for Apple, it could be great because not only could they sort of keep earning recurring revenue from services and subscriptions and apps for this headset, but also they get to sell or try to sell everybody in the world on this headset that they need to have. Everybody already has an iPhone, but not everybody has a headset, which means that Apple has this whole new product category to explore and they get to try to sell millions, if not you know tens or hundreds of millions of these things around the world over many uh, number of years in order to keep making money and to be more revolutionary than uh, the competition, and that is, at least, if they can pull this off. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on the Apple headset project? How do you think the iPhone is gonna change, and do you think it's gonna change for the better or the worse? 15 lineup is looking super ambitious. I'm excited to see what happens over the next few years, and I am more excited than I've ever been before to finally see this headset, to finally put the rumors to rest and see once and for all, is it gonna be great? Is it gonna be a flop? Apple's got a whole lot riding on this, basically from what we know, like Tim Cook's reputation is riding on this last project uh, being a make it or break it. So I'm really curious to see in just a couple of months what it's going to be and if it's really going to be as revolutionary as we all think. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think the iPhone's days are numbered? Do you think that this is gonna be replaced? Or do you think it's gonna last forever? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And a big thanks to you guys for watching these videos. I appreciate it, thanks so much. I am Robert Rosenfeld and I'll see you all in the next one.